Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you 20 plus best tips and tricks for the BlackBerry Perf smartphone. It's a really, really nice phone with a ton of customization. So let's just go ahead and begin some tips. So, and tricks, of course. So first of all, uh, tip number one is how to take a screenshot. Now that's pretty easy. Uh, you need to just hold the power and volume down at the same time and you will see the screenshot now of course uh, there's no fancy tricks like knocking to take a screenshot or swiping some fingers so yeah uh, keep that in mind so it's really easy it's really nice to take the screenshot hold down the power and the volume down key at the same time to take the screenshot now uh, the next tip for you guys is choosing the icon pack now of course if you have watched my review you know that this one has uh, the UI very close to stock so uh, definitely I think uh, they did a really really great job now of course uh, it is looking really uh, like a stock Android but they have included an option where you can apply icon packs now you can download the icon packs from Play Store if you want to uh, it's uh, you know we have a lot of icon packs available there that are free so I downloaded some uh, only one actually to show you guys here so go into this setting here in the app drawer and then you will have this option called as icon pack uh, click on it and then it will show you your icon packs now I'm using the uh, moonshine icon pack already so you can see a little bit difference there in the play store app uh, its icon is different so yeah it's, it's it just gives your phone a little bit different look in terms of icon so that's nice you don't need to try out any launch or anything like that to apply it, it they all work fine on this uh, blackberry's default uh, ui launcher so next off is when you go into the settings and click on the more tab you have this uh, option to change the default sms app now of course by default they have set this messenger app as the default so you can change it to hangouts if you want to use hangouts as your main default SMS app, SMS app so yeah that's a good thing there and uh, the next tip for you guys is uh, related to its uh, curved display now uh, you you notice here that if I show you like this here you can see this um, bar here a little bar uh, you need to swipe it up and uh, it's, it's gonna give us this option now of course a uh, little bit emails there and then also uh, the unread emails and you have more option to open a blackberry hub of course if you set up blackberry hub you will see its notification here and you can also edit this and we also have these options to switch into calendar mode to the task that you have some tasks today so you can set the, those up here and of course we have the contact application uh, built uh, with this edge display feature and this is really nice you can add some favorite contacts that you contact uh, on daily basis so like your father or any other people so yeah you can set that up there so it's really nice this uh, curved display is really awesome and let's move towards the next tip which is related to keyboard now keyboard is the main attraction of this phone and probably why it costs a lot and this is the physical keyboard uh, that you can use in order to assign uh, I mean in order to make your life a lot more easier for example you can assign certain functions to each of these keys if you hold down the G key here long press it says assign long press shortcut now I can assign uh, see here a application let's see if I want to assign calculator to this G app now when I press the G and you know long press the G key here it opens up the calculator now in this way you can apply different things uh, different functions to each of these keys and it's uh, pretty fun and you can also uh, do like a short key press like this was the long key press you can also do the short key press like it says assign a shortcut uh, short key press so for the short key uh, sh I'm gonna apply let's see um, Google Chrome okay now if I long press it opens up the calculator if I short press it opens it opens up the chrome so it's really awesome and you can also use it to scroll left and right you can also use it to you know uh, to of course assign shortcuts uh, like sending an email you can do different stuff like if I hold down the K it says send message 
alt shortcuts now if you go to alt shortcuts they have done a great job by giving us these shortcuts there uh, you can set up these quick shortcuts like calling at toss checking the battery level turning wi-fi on very very helpful so uh, this keyboard will make your android experience a whole lot more better and it opens up more doors uh, to interact with your device so it's pretty awesome uh, let's move towards the uh, next tip which is related to the power save you know now if you go into there there's some gestures or you could say like some advanced interaction that's what they are calling and if you go into the main settings here and if you scroll down you will see this option called as advanced interaction now we have three options first one is flip to save power now i have this turned on we also have this option to flip to mute like silence the device when you receive a call and if your device is playing uh, you know if your device is lying down like this and it will be in silent mode so yeah you can turn those advanced interactions on you can see here now my device is uh it was uh, in sleep mode because I had this option enabled put the device in sleep mode when you place it face down a flat surface that's nice you can also uh, enable this option it makes the screen uh, awake longer when you hold the device in your hand that's also nice it's not gonna uh, uh, not gonna time out so yeah that's also good uh, you can uh, use those advanced interaction to make your android experience more comfortable and uh, also let's uh, talk about the next thing which is the recent view now this is the recent view or in other words you could call it as the multitasking view now these are the applications that are open in the background i could switch to any application i want that's pretty easy you know that but you could actually actually change this uh view okay now i think it's now in the default tiles mode now if you go into settings if you go into let's see here if we go into display uh, if i zoom in as you can see here it shows recent now i can have it from tiles to let's see uh, roller decks now if i press it like this now it's the default androids uh, uh you know the default android look here like we have on other phones you can have it on uh, let's see masonry uh, which gives a little bit different look here those two applications are in tiles mode and this one is in Rolodex mode so yeah uh, you can change these uh, options to make your uh, phone look a little, more, a little bit more good uh, and uh, you know Rolodex is a nice uh, default way but Messenger is the is the default uh, default tiles or uh, default multitasking uh, reset uh, that is selected by default by blackberry so you can change it to other if you want to uh, let's just move towards the next tip which is double tap to wake the display uh, that's pretty nice that is really really nice now on other phones you may have to root your phone to get this but on blackberry Prime you have this by default now if you go into the display uh, this is here if we scroll down let's see uh, we have this option called as wake up gesture now if you you can turn it off turn it on now if, I, if you have this option on and your device is locked like this lying on the table if you double tap on the screen the display will wake up so that is really nice uh, that's a nice tip there uh, move towards the next tip which is related to the font size now you can actually uh, increase the font size you can see here by default for some people this might not be the accurate font size so going into display and going into the let's see here let's see we have to scroll down a little bit here we go font size you can have it on from normal to large and this just makes it more comfortable to read and uh, I want it to be on default as normal because I don't have any problem using it as uh, in normal mode but for most of people if you want a larger text you can change it by going into settings the display and then we have this font size option so yeah that's pretty nice next off is the uh, swipe shortcut now this is definitely uh, one of the best uh, things here software wise now first of all if i show you guys here in the settings we have this dedicated option for swipe shortcut uh, now of course by default on lollipop 
you don't have the Google Now on tap that uh, we have on Marshmallow phone. So uh, we get this Google Now option by swiping up. Uh, now, of course, if we swipe up, it's going to give us the default Google Now option. But on top of that, you can also add some two of your favorite application, custom applications on the side to go easily. For example, if you take a lot of pictures, you can set those, uh, set a camera there. You can also set up mail there, so it's pretty nice. You can also change it by going here. You can also assign a shortcut, like assign a favorite contact whom you want to send a message. I mean, possibilities are endless. You can also set up a custom application, like if you want to have like GTA San Andreas. Now you have GTA San Andreas there. It was pretty damn awesome. There's no limitation. Every app can be there as a uh, shortcut. So swipe shortcut works on every application. That's pretty nice. Uh, moving towards the next tip, which is related to the to my personal this is my personal tip this is something that i do on all of my phones to increase their battery life so uh going into the settings then uh, going into sound and notification scrolling down we have this option called as other sound let me just zoom in here a little bit you can see here this is called as other sound if i go into other sounds i'm going to disable all these options like dial pad tunes uh screen locking sound touch sounds vibrate on touch I disable all those because I don't want them. I don't want my phone to make sound when I'm locking. You know, some people do love it, but this is a really pro tip for battery life. This just improves your battery life uh, a lot. This just this does uh, this does makes a difference. So yeah, keep that in mind. It's just my personal tip. So if you want to avail it, it's just up to you. So yeah, I thought I should tell you that this in this video. So. Uh, yeah, let's just move towards the next tip, which is again related to a advanced, no, it's not advanced gesture. It is, if you go into display, another option is a gesture, uh, which is scrolling down. It says lift to wake. Now, whenever your device is locked in like this, if you lift it up, its display is gonna um, turn on, but let's see here how it works. I never actually first tried sometimes maybe it works maybe not let's see i don't know why it's not working but we never know when it's, when it's gonna work moving towards the next tip which is related to the notification now of course if you go into sound and notification we have this option called as the pulse notification which means of course you have this uh notification light on your phone uh, that uh, blinks when you have a uh, low battery or when your phone is charged uh, and also when you are receiving some messages so yeah but, uh, whatever notification you have this will uh, be sh uh, showing you guys so you can uh, use this uh, pulse notification uh, light uh, to let you guys know if you have a notification there you can also turn it off if you want to to conserve more battery so yeah, that's that. Uh, moving towards the next tip, which is related to the battery saver. Now, this device doesn't come with its own auto power saving mode or power saving mode. So we have this default Android battery saving mode. Now, going into the let's see here, we have the dedicated option for the uh, the battery. If we scroll up a little, let's see. Here we go. And if we tap on this menu key here we have this option called as battery saver if we click on it it says uh this will go to improve your battery life of course blah 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 if you turn it on you'll get this red bar on the top and your device will basically have no animation it will going to have like a lower clock speed so you might see some lag if you have a lot of application open up so yeah that's that uh let's just move towards the next tip which is related to the physical uh, gestures now i already showed you the physical gestures here um on my uh, on my prev here this this keyboard here now you can actually turn off this uh, these physical gestures now so we have this option in the language and input if you go here scroll down at the end we have this option for the physical keyboard uh, if we go here, you can turn off all these physical gestures if you don't like them. But of course, uh, we all want this to turn on because this just 
uh, makes our editor experience more enjoyable. So yeah, uh, next off is the uh, the developer options. Now you can turn on the developer option if you are planning to root this device. Uh, so for that, you must have to turn this option on. Going into about phone, tapping at the bin number a couple of times until it says you are a developer. I already unlocked it. Now go into developer options. You have this option for USB debugging, which you have to turn on for the uh, for let's see, yeah, for routing and uh, other stuff. And uh, of course, the next step is also related to this kind of uh, stuff here. Uh, going into the security, if you go into security. Uh, we have this option for unknown sources. Now you need to take this option if you are planning to install some APK file or application applications from uh, sources other than Play Store. Like if you are planning to install cracked apps on this phone, so you need to turn on this option. Otherwise, your phone will not going to allow you to install those applications. So yeah, keep that in mind. This should be on for cracked applications. So. Uh, Let's just move towards the next step, which is related to the uh, information that you can have on the lock screen. Now, let's see here. Now, on my lock screen, oops, I can't see the lock screen because I actually changed a option. So let me just quickly set it up in the display. Screen wakes to lock screen notification. Okay. Uh, Okay, so as you can see, this is my lock screen time and the date and the day, nothing else. Now you can actually put a custom text there. If you go into security, let's see here, security, you can put owner information there, like, uh, let's see, uh, whatever information, uh, like uh, don't touch my phone or, or your YouTube channel link, maybe, uh, let's see. It says select a word that appears. Okay, Z deck gear. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back and let's see here if it is going to show it. As you can see, YouTube channel Z deck gear. Now you could have anything you want any text you want so yeah that's also a nice option there uh, let's just move towards the next step which is related to let's see here um, we have the shortcuts yeah uh, shortcuts of course uh, you can also access the shortcuts uh, via app drawer we have this specific tab here if we click here you can see uh, we can compose the uh, BBM message you can compose email uh, blah 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 then we have calendar agenda we have some other options and we have some device related options like turning on Wi-Fi so you can click and hold this shortcut to put it on the uh, home screen so that you can easily turn on the Wi-Fi turn off the Wi-Fi now as you can see Wi-Fi is off now Wi-Fi is on so they have a nice animation built into this uh, shortcut so that is pretty nice so let's just talk about the next uh, next tip here. So which is related to the order of apps. Now, if you don't like the default order of application, you can also change it. Like uh, if we check out here, uh, if we check out here on down below here in the blue section, it says default. Now I, I can change it to alphabetical, newest, most used. Uh, most used will be good because uh, all your most used application will be on the top so you don't have to search or anything like that. It's really time uh, saving so that's nice. Uh, so let's just move towards the next tip which is related to, let's see here. This is something that you have to do when you first uh, you know, buy this phone. Uh, by default, this phone has NFC on so you need to turn it off in order to increase its battery life so of course we are not using NFC all the time so make sure you turn it off uh, so that you conserve the battery and all that so uh, the last tip for you guys is for those people like I said for those people who want to have like a uh, good experience in terms of reading so going into accessibility uh, magnifying gesture if you turn them on 
what will happen is that, for example, if you are in, in Google Chrome, you are reading some text on a website and you can't really read it. So you can make, make it more comfortable by triple typing the screen and it's going to just magnify everything up so you can just swipe with your three fingers. So that is really, really good. That is really convenient. So yeah, that's just wraps up this full video. These are the 20 plus best tips and tricks for the BlackBerry Priv. It's a really nice smartphone. Make sure you check out my channel for the uh, for comparisons and some other videos that you want to see. It's full coverage. So yeah, uh, subscribe and peace out.